Professor. You're gonna be locked up for a long, long time. We'll see you about that. No, no, no! Ha! Take this, alien lowlife! Well, it's impossible. How can I be melted when I clearly have on my power belt? Oh. Good morning, Jerry, old boy! Good day, Mr. President. Uh, do we have a situation, sir? Situation? Heck no. I just like using the red line because of the hands-free feature, see? Impressive, sir. Thanks. Anyhow, how about you and me doing some fly fishing this weekend and maybe chewing the fat about you joining the A-Team here in Washington? A White House appointment, sir? Exactly. So get your secret spy self down here, real quick like. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, uh, just one more thing. Ladies, without a doubt, we are lean, mean, retail shopping machines. Yeah, we came, we saw, we kicked the sidewalk, <laughs> still, but... Strike a pose, Tully? We have to. I mean, good friends, the mall. Definitely a say cheese moment. see the safekeeping of his daughter, Madison. We're your babysitting! Well, if you want to put it that way, but this mission is extremely important to me. Huh? Well, we do get to hang out at the West Wing, and it's not like some sleepover pillow fight thing, right? Absolutely right. So, are you gonna give us some gadgets to what? Oh, yes, yes, uh, gadgets. For this mission, we have the padded shoulder portable parasail, the expandable cable parasail, the friendship rings, a conium tracker, and numerous net grenades. Well, if we're all equipped, the White House awaits. Perhaps you girls should have buckled up. And maybe we should have called first. Actually, it's oval. You know, as in oval office. Well, put a rattlesnake in my pocket and ask me for a match. How y'all doing, Bubba? I'm very well, sir. Bubba? What's up, Bubba? Got me. I'm still trying to figure out that rattlesnake thing. I'll take it from here, Nutsfield. 10-4, sir. Mr. President, I'd like you to meet three of Whoop's top agents. Sam, Clover, and Alex. Howdy, ladies. My daughter Madison and her nanny, Mrs. Quivers. My father told me how you guys go around saving the world and stuff. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, sure. Absolutely. No biggie. Well, ladies, uh, I'm gonna have to steal Jerry away while the fishing's good. Uh, Miss Quivers will fill you in. Here's Madison's afternoon schedule, Madison's recreation schedule, and Madison's scheduled huh? schedules. I huh? believe that's everything. Uh, don't you want to stick around a while? You know, see how we do? Sorry, it's my day off. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, Maddie, I guess it's just us. Want to start with the lunch schedule? Schedule? <laughs> Please, like I'm really going to listen to a bunch of bubble-headed valley girls. Whoa, reality check. Did someone just replace the cute kid with some evil twin? And hello, we are so not from the valley. We're from Beverly Hills. <laughs> Whatever. If you want to survive today, then follow these rules. Don't bug me, and maybe I won't bug you. Get it? Got it? Good. Well, I can 
see how this has fun afternoon written all over it. Madison, you really shouldn't be eating ice cream before lunch. Huh? Fine! Take it! <gasps> <laughs> some serious samitude. Mm. Maybe we should cool down. I mean, she is only 11. Okay, if this is what 11-year-olds do, then I'm sending my kids to military school right after kindergarten. Oh, Madison! Auntie Sam wants to have a word with you. <gasps> Oops, maybe it was the other way. Sorry, nice paper mache. so mad. I was just having fun. I never get to have fun. It's always Madison do this and Madison do that. You'd never mind. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. <laughs> I can't believe you losers fell for that! Psych! <laughs> that, that little punk just totally played us! Oh, she is so in trouble. She's like majorly grounded times two. Problem, girls. Uh, what makes you think there's a problem, Major Nesfield? Aggressive banging, bedroom access being denied. Access denied? No, no, we could access if we wanted to, but um, we just don't want to. <laughs> yeah, because um, we feel Madison needs a little alone time. So we're gonna go make her some lunch. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> The presidential kitchen. Let's see what's behind door number one. Huh? huh? Okay, wasn't expecting that at all. Maybe we should make some brownies. Ooh, brownies. Now you're talking. I meant for Madison. You know, as sort of a peace offering. Peace offering? With that brat? Why? Imagine what it's like for her. Your whole life schedule. Secret service everywhere you go. Even your babysitters work for the government. Okay, but if she pulls one more prank, I am giving her a brownie makeover. Madison, open up. We made brownies, and we were hoping we could, you know, start over. Rude much. <gasps> Madison, are you okay? <laughs> Where is she? President's kid or not, if this is another one of her stupid... <gasps> President's daughter, but there's no ransom note. Poor Madison. That thing took her by such surprise she didn't get to log off from her chat room. Hmm. 
Washington Monument in exactly two hours. Daddy, please! Hurry! <gasps> yes, Daddy. Hurry. Maybe we should tell Nesfield to call the president. And there goes Jerry's chance for a promotion, too. Major Nesfield here. <gasps> uh, just a minute! Girls, you can't keep the president waiting. Where's Madison? Uh, uh, she, she's in the bathroom. Eleven-year-olds, eyeliner freaks. <laughs> but I'll talk. Hi, Mr. President, it's Sam. How are the fish biting? The fish? <laughs> They're jumping out of the water like fleas on a pup. Fleas on my side of the boat. So, uh, how's my little girl? She's not getting in any trouble, I hope. Trouble? No, uh, she... She's fine. I mean, what kind of trouble could a cute kid like Madison get into? It's not like someone's going to kidnap her for ransom, right? What? Sir, ground floor is reporting a loud crash outside the library. Something just fell out of the sky. I'll be back. We'll be right here. Not. Come on, we gotta get Madison back before Nesfield figures us out. How do we do that? The kidnapper wants to trade for that prisoner. Hmm. Not a problem. What exactly are we looking for? Overcoats, hats, anything that'll fool the kidnapper into believing one of us is the prisoner. Check this out. I don't even want to think about that pajama party. Come on, keep looking. They're here. Let's go. Why is it always the top of the monument? I mean, why can't prisoner exchanges ever take place in the monument gift shop? That would be too easy. Where's the president's daughter? You get the girl on the way up. I take my friend here and go down. Shall we? <laughs> what is this? Time for you to get busted. Quick, we've got to beat him to Madison. Oh, great, more stairs. <laughs> shows up. I'm afraid it's too late for that, my dear. <laughs> because I am the kidnapper. Have 
him from the White House so easily. But what's the connection to the mad scientist guy in prison? That mad scientist guy happens to be my husband. Husband? Yes. I simply don't want the father of my twins rotting in jail for the next hundred years. You see, Mrs. Quivers is really one half of the famous Svetlander gang. The counter-espionage group that threatened world destruction by detonating explosive devices at vulnerable earthquake fault lines across the continents? That's right. We were just one tiny microchip away from holding the world hostage. Hard to believe, hmm? Yeah, I'll say. I mean, that guy's like barely half your height. My dear, love is not measured in inches. Oh, that is so sweet. <coughs> Unfortunately, your interfering with my ransom plans has forced me to threaten the president face to face. Robbie, Bobby, start the cell walls. Stop! Don't hurt them! Sorry, but they've given me no choice. Oh, I almost forgot, girls. Thanks for filling in for me today. It was a great day. Today. Well, what's going on? What's going on, Mr. President, is the ransoming of your precious daughter. Call the prison or Maddie takes a swim class with the fishes. I, I don't understand. You don't need to understand. All you need to do is take out your cell phone and dial. Now! I'm so sorry, sir. My agents should have prevented this. Listen, it's the president. Patch me through to Warden Jenkins. Maryland maximum security real quick like. Warden, listen, I need you to... Tip of the old ten gallon. Enough said. 
so I just wanted to say, you know, I'm sorry about before. I was wrong about you guys. You're okay. Thanks. You're pretty okay yourself. You know, Mr. President, about me coming to work for you. I know where you're going with this, Jerry. You're right. Stealing you from Whoop would be a downright disservice to the country. So I accept your formal withdrawal. You do? Well, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, I guess it's bye, y'all. Maddie and I have to start looking for a new nanny. Sorry, Jerry. I know how much you wanted that position. But the truth is, we're totally psyched you're still our boss. Ladies, after seeing the three of you in action, I'm glad I'm still your boss, too. Uh-huh. Ah!